How's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to do a taste test for the Quest protein cookie. I've had these for a while. I haven't tried it yet. My wife tried them already and she already gave me her opinion, but I'm going to ignore it for now until I try them for myself. And so I have the soft and chewy double chocolate chip flavored cookies. Now, according to the package, it has 15 grams of protein, uh, less than one gram of sugar and 10 grams of fiber. Now, depending if you're doing total carbs or net carbs, it could affect how many cookies you can eat in a day. Uh, if you're doing total carbs, which I've heard 50 grams total carbs for the day, it's like a number that kind of floats around. Now this one has total uh, carbs of 20 grams. And so two cookies might be pushing it for that, but I do net carbs and I do about 20 grams per day. Now, if you go by the net carbs math, then you have 20 grams minus 10 of fiber minus five of erythritol, which doesn't affect your uh, insulin levels. So it kind of doesn't count for total carbs. So you got, you're talking about five grams uh, net carbs. Theoretically, you can get away with four cookies, but that's not the best way to use up your carbs. Uh, you know, vegetables is obviously the best way. Now this is by Quest, and Quest is actually pretty uh, well known for their Quest bars. I have not tried the Quest bars yet, but they do have some keto-friendly bars that I, that I plan to try out and maybe do a taste test video on. But for now, this is gonna be actually my first uh, cookie, my first pastry uh, review for, for this company. I did, uh, I did chips before. Uh, I'll put the link below so you can check it out. Uh, okay, so let me try it. So just texture alone, looks a little bit dry, but uh, it is kinda, it lo looks like it's gonna be a little bit chewy. It has a chocolate chip. It is a little too sweet for me, but nice, a little dry. The texture is okay. The texture is not terrible, but it's not as uh, moist as I would want it to be. It is soft and chewy though, so they're not lying. It's actually pretty good. I like them. So my wife said she didn't really like the uh, flavor so much, or was it? I think she said she didn't like the texture as much, but I don't mind them. They're actually pretty good. They're not too bad for when you're craving something sweet. It's a pretty big cookie too. It's about two ounces. So that's not bad. Definitely on the dry side though. The sweetness kind of hits you real hard in the beginning, but then it's kind of settles down a little bit. It's kind of subtle towards the end. So um, maybe because I'm already kind of overwhelmed by the sweetness. I compare it to when I used to eat the brown M&Ms. Uh, it was just constantly overly sweet and so I would have to drink water to kind of wash down this one. I need water for sure because of the dryness, but the sweetness is not, it's not terrible. So these are good. I do taste the protein a little bit, like the protein powder kind of flavor. But I recommend it, really good. I just got this flavor, but I'll probably try the other flavors later on. Okay, that's it. So hopefully that helped. Uh, I don't think you'd be wasting your money if you buy these. Uh, definitely recommend them. So let me know if you try them and uh, what you think about them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. I know it's real simple, but uh, I kind of like these videos uh, because you never really know when you buy something online if uh, it's gonna be worth the money and the delivery time and all that. Uh, but definitely uh, these are worth it. So that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.